So our next plan is uh, about slope, the idea of slope. It's, uh, it's very important when you're working with uh, linear equations, anything with, to do with lines, straight lines. Uh, slope tells you a lot of information about what, a, what direction a line is going and how you know, curvy it is or how uh, slanted it is. Um, so usually in algebra, it's usually designated by the letter M. And that's what the letter, letter M is when you see it in the book. And a lot of times I know, you know, the first time you see it, it's like, why is this M? What, where does it come from? But it usually always uh, refers to slope in, in any algebra book. So the way you find slope is there's a formula to it, which is delta Y over delta X. That's what M equals to. Delta, you'll notice in uh, a lot of um, science or anything, it means a Greek letter means change. That's what it means. It means the change in. So it's a change in y over the change in x. So equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what does y2 and y1 mean? Like, what, is, what are these x2, x1, what, what do they all refer to? Well, here's an example I can use to illustrate. You'll understand where these come from. So here's an example here. Let's say you need to find a slope between four, a point 4, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 3 here. So y2 is the y coordinate, right? So it'll be negative 1. So let me point that to the y2, y2. That's where it comes from, OK? Minus y1. Remember, minus y1. Notice I didn't put negative 1 minus 3. I put negative 1 minus a negative 3. You can't ignore that this is a, y1 is negative 3. See, if it was 3, then you put 3, but it says negative 3 there. Okay? So this will be y1, okay? And all over x2, remember y2? Right here, x2, y2. So that will be uh, 4. Okay? So let's point that. So 4 refers to x2, okay? I mean, x2 right there, sorry. Minus x1, which will be negative 2. Okay? So this would be x1. And I'll mark it in a different color so you understand which one is what. So those are x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Technically, you can change them. I mean, if you start at x2, y2, then you have to keep it the same. So this one, I'm designating x2, y2. This one is x1, y, x1, y1. So as you can see, all my arrows. So just to make it clear, a lot of times people get confused where I get these numbers from, where the variables come from. OK? So now I have this. I put up in this equation here. OK? So I have negative 1 minus negative 3. And if you watch my other video, minus minus is plus plus, right? So it's really negative 1 plus 3 all over 4 minus the negative 2 plus plus again, right? So plus 2. And then negative 1 plus 3, so that would be a 2, over 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So my slope is 2, 6, but of course I have to reduce that. I can't leave it unsimplified. Okay, you divide by 2 on top, reducing, okay? So the slope will be 1 third. And you notice, one of the lessons I want to teach you is that when a slope is going this way, it's a positive slope. When it goes this way, the other way, that's a negative slope. And this is a positive, positive slope, so it's going that way. Uh, but I'm going to go into uh, the details on how to analyze graphs later on. But it's just kind of like, I want you to notice things like as you go along with these problems. Um, and uh, that's my whole thing about slopes.